let's understand how we test the effect of dummy variables in this video. So recall that when we have a multivariable regression, like we do in this case, the coefficients are going to show us the partial effects of that specific variable. So assuming they are significant, let's work with the coefficients of master and PhD because we're working with our categories for education level. Assuming that they are significant, both of them, what, what does this tell us? It tells us how this is going to affect the wages on average compared to the reference category, compared to the bachelor degree that is included in the constant. That's going to be our reference category. So these are our partial effects. But if, what if we want to test whether the education level is significant overall? What if we want to test if the education level affects wages in general? So in that case, we want to know whether the master, the PhD and the bachelor degree together, all of them have an effect on wages, meaning we want to test a joint effect. So we're going to have a test on the joint effect of the education levels. Test on joint effect. And recall that when we want to test for a joint effect, we're going to do so with an F test. We're going to do so with an F test. With an F test. Now, what's going to be the intuition of this F test? We're going to do an F test on R squared. And why is that the case? Well, recall, recall from the, from, um, the property of R squared that when we add more variables to a model, the R squared increases. So because we added these dummies, because we added these dummies, the R squared in our regression went up. But we also know that R square can increase any time we add variables to the model. So if the R square is significant, if that increase wasn't just due to the fact that we have more variables, but because the variables help explaining the dependent variable, the wage is better, it means that adding those dummies is worth it, meaning that all the levels of education taken together are significant. They affect wages. So how we compute this F test on R square? Well, that's... Uh, that's how it would look like. The F test would have the following shape. We will compare the difference between the R square of the full model relative to the R square of the restricted model. Now, once again, recall that an R square with a full model is going to be the R square of this following regression where we include the dummies. And we know that this R square, because it has more variables, is going to be higher than the R square of the restricted model. And by definition, the restricted model is not going to have these variables. So it's just going to be this following model. Now, because we want to know whether the increase is going to be significant or not, we're going to standardize it, normalize it by the additional variables that we add. So we add two additional variables. We add two additional variables. And we're going to divide this by 1 minus R square of the full model divided by the remaining degrees of freedom to normalize this as well. And the remaining degrees of freedom is going to be the number of observations minus the number of parameters, the number of independent variables in the full model, which are 1, 2 and 3, 3 independent variables in the full model minus 1. And depending on the F value that we are having over here, we're going to compare it with the F critical value. So the F critical value, we're going to compare it to the F critical value over over here, which is going to have the degrees of freedom of the additional variables two and the remaining degrees of freedom, as in this case, n minus three minus one. These are always going to be part of the degrees of freedom of the F test that we are having. Now, assuming that our F value is going to be larger than the F critical value and on the F distribution, it would look something like that. Let's say this is going to be our F test. Let's say the F critical value for the sake of the example would be, for instance, uh, 4.1 and our, so let me just highlight, this would be the rejection region to the right. And let's suppose that our F value in our case was 11.2. So let's say that would be 11.2 in the rejection region. So we would reject the null hypothesis and if we reject the null hypothesis, what does that mean? That means that adding the two variables, adding the dummies to the model helps explain the model better, increases the R square significantly, meaning that there is a joint effect of the education levels. So there is, there is a joint effect, significant, significant joint effect, joint effect of the education level on wages on wages again again this is this is the same way as saying that the r square increased significant 
or adding the dummies helps explain the model better. They are all the same conclusion and it's always wise to understand the conclusions from different angles because it is the same thing. Hope this makes sense and we are done.